combined are what I believe is going to help me get that lap time. Like I said, I'm aiming for a 136. I know GR72EG has a 134, which is an incredible lap time. And I think if I gave this enough attempts, I would be able to break that pretty easily. Probably get a 133 or even a 132 if I, you know, if I tried this 15 to 16 times, I bet I could get that. But I like to keep it kind of casual. I like to, um, you know, not be super sweaty with these so I am only going to try this 10 times and these will be the only 10 attempts I do for this uh, for this hot lap so we're coming up here and that was a that was a much better lap there we got I, I believe a, like a 144 there we go that's exactly what I wanted to do right there um, like I was saying get a little bit of that damage there because that's what is going to help this car perform better so we're on lap three here how am I feeling so far you know what I am I'm feeling pretty confident in this still. Um, the first two laps weren't quite to the pace I wanted, but this is definitely going to be the kind of thing where by the end of the race, I should be, you know, really, really consistently and really, really easily getting 137s. And like I said, really aiming for that 136 um, and at least nab second place in this week's in this week's time trial. So just adding a little bit of commentary while I do this kind of helps me... Uh, stay focused and um, just kind of let you guys a little, get a little bit of insight on uh, what my process is and how I get uh, some of the racing results I do. As many of you know, a very accomplished racer in the LSAT community, um, previous top 10 um, in, the, uh, in the LSAC top 25, I was the number 10 for a few stray weeks there. Um, fell off only because I, you know, I, I took some time off. I wasn't that prevalent in the last few weeks that we did that, so I did fall back to, like, uh, number 12 or so. There's that spinny burn we talked about. Really helps to get those tires to go super-duper fast. And when that's happening, you're going to notice that car just jumps to speed right there. Um, I'm really trying to avoid those hail bales at the corners there. I, I want to get as far away from those as possible because the closer you get to them, the more risk you have of actually touching them. And if you touch them, you know, that uh, that's not good for the car to, to be touching hay bales. That's uh, one of the worst things that can happen in a GTA race is to touch a hay bale, even a little bit. So as you can see, I'm really, really, really trying to avoid hitting those at any at any cost. I didn't see what the lap time was on that lap, but I assume it was probably in that 138 category because I really, really felt uh, like I was getting some massive, massive time on there. Keep hitting that wall right there. That's exactly what I'm aiming for. I want to keep pressing in that left bumper, let it cave in a little bit more every single lap. And by the 10th lap, uh, this car is going to be unrecognizable, um, just maybe even missing a hood or a fender, hopefully, because that will really put the car in pain, and that's what's going to make the car kind of push itself over the edge um, to just be done with this, because it, it really does not want to be here um, with an abusive driver like myself. There we go. Oh, that was... I don't know if I'll be able to do that for the rest of the race. That might have been a frame-perfect slippy burn right there. That uh, that's why I'm glad I'm recording this because you get to see uh, you get to see things like that like they they happen once in a hundred races um, slippy burns that are that good so to capture them it's oh my god wow this lap is actually going to be fantastic so what I did for race specs for this car um, I put the biggest spoiler on that I could find. Um, as you know, bigger spoilers give you bigger uh, downforce, I believe is what it's called. And, you know, the more downforce you're generating, the more... Uh, they, oh, good, slippy burn. Oh, good wall crash combo right there. That was the perfect corner. Almost hit that hay bale, which would have been devastating for my lap time. But honestly, uh, right now this is looking pretty good. And we're getting a lap four here. And that was, you know, not... A I'm surprised that lap was actually as poor as it was considering some of the amazing uh you know burnouts and uh wall trims i did on there so you know what we gotta take it good burn right there that's definitely going to help make this uh make this life a bit better so like i was saying though i put a really really large spoiler on this car because that's just obviously going to help make the car a little bit faster um i made it kind of a fun uh silk or actually it's ice white um, as everyone knows, ice is one of the slipperiest objects in the world, and thus anything that is colored like ice is going to slip and slide a little bit more and just be a little bit quicker. 
Um, as far as tires go, I'm using a street variant that I don't remember what the name is, but I did make them black uh, so they kind of look cool. And I gave them black tire smoke because I think that's pretty baller. Um, and you're going to see that sometimes when I do those Bernie spins, you're going to see that black tire smoke come out. And that's, uh, that's going to let you know that I'm, that I'm there we go. Oh, that's going to be your uh, signal that um, I'm performing the actions that I want to perform for these laps and getting the times that I really, really want to get. I didn't use the crew emblem option on this car, just because I found that that can be a little bit distracting looking at the LSAC logo while I drive. Uh, my eyes are typically drawn to it inadvertently, and I, I don't want my eyes to be uh, uh, just too distracted by the car. The car is beautiful. I, I really, really enjoy the Feltzer. It is an incredible machine, but um, I think adding the amazing LSAC logo is just going to make that a little bit more distracting me. I didn't see what lap time that was, but I believe that had to be a 138. That felt like a 138. Um, so I think I'm really hitting my rhythm right now as we get on to what I believe is the fifth lap. So we're about halfway home at this point. Still hitting that wall, doing exactly what I want to do there, so that's awesome. And these laps are just going by. Like, I, I can't even believe how fast these these things go. This, uh, this is just what I do. I... I really enjoy just kind of being one of the dominant forces in LSAC racing with uh, with the skill I have here. A couple other insights about what's going on. Um, this is about midnight for me, so I am actually pretty tired, um, and I am needed to be at work at about 6 a.m. tomorrow to, to make some beer. So one of the things that's also driving me right now is a bit of an anxiety and tiredness. Like I really should be, oop, the, oh, oh, was that perfect? Yes, oh, holy shit, that was perfect execution of a wall bang into a slide and narrowly avoiding that vine, uh, that vine wall there. Uh, that's, holy shit, we might actually be getting the 133 on this lap. That was incredible execution. Um, I don't like to say frame perfect too often. Um, I feel it dilutes the term a little bit, but I have to say that had to have been a, a damn near frame perfect execution to get uh, to get that. So, oh, what a good slide! Holy shit! I'm really loving this car right now. This uh, this car feels great. Um, it loses its steering at the perfect amount, and shit, right there. That's exactly what you want to see. Because then you can take that corner a little bit slowly, and um, that's actually, it seems counterintuitive, but that's actually what you want to do. You want to take that corner just a little bit extra slow, so that um, so that you can cut it a little bit more fine, and really risk, uh, and not risk hitting that hay bale there. Like I said, you want to stay away from the hay bales. Uh, touching a hay bale basically means race over, you know. It, um, I've seen it happen all the time in races. It's, ooh, great slide there. Holy shit. We're really mastering the car at this point, honestly. Um, I don't, I'm not even sure. This, this is why I record these guys. Um, this is why I do these and uh, show you guys what's going on here. Because I, I think it, it's, it's something I need to do for the community. I can't just be the one keeping these secrets for myself. I need to be teaching people kind of the proper way to be doing these things how to get the best results out of their racing. So that's why I do these videos. I, I don't take any ad revenue from them. Um, I, I don't have any sponsorships for it yet. I, I've had to turn quite a few away, honestly, just because I, you know, I, I want to do this for the community. I don't want to do this for me. Um, so these racing guides, these, these hot laps where you get to see uh, just me in action, that it's, it's just me pro bono. Um, Helping you guys out to be to be better racers here, whether it's in LSAC or in other lesser communities like uh, Jazz or Team or you know what I guess I I can't really think of other ones, but you know LSAC's top place for racing. That's, I've always said that. That's always been true for the GTA community. Yes, it's only on PS4, but that just means that it's a, it's more exclusive. You're gonna get the better people in those uh, in those communities if you're only in PS4. If you go to PS, uh, if you go to PC, or if you go to Xbox, you're going to start getting like you're just going to be diluting the market with just lesser competitors, and 
uh, crappier racers. So we keep it to just PS4, just to kind of have the best of the best communities for, for online racing, and that's what you're going to find at LSAC. So, not only amazing car shows, but um, the best racing that there is, basically in the GTA universe. Uh, most tracks that you race on were probably created by LSAC racers. Um, I don't think this one was. Like I said, I'm not familiar with this one. It's okay. Um, it really, really um, makes you take use of those slippy corners like that, which I'm really getting the hang of at this point. So I, I haven't had the lap where I can get like all 15 of them that I want, but I'm, I'm really hitting them a little bit uh, as much as I would like to. So we only got a few. Oh, look at that front end. That is exactly how you want it. Like I was saying, getting that crunched up, making the car cry. That's exactly what you want that to look like by the end of the race. We're going to try to get a little bit more out of that because then uh, then you're going to notice this car is just really going to be begging for this race to be over. And we are we are on lap eight. So we've only got two more to go. But like I said, I'm really hitting my stride right now. Um, you know, these laps are getting near perfect. And like I said, if I maybe did 16 or 17 laps, I would probably be able to beat uh, GR72EG's uh, lap time by probably at least a second, maybe two, but um, I only want to do 10 laps of this. I, I like going into these blind because I think it's more exciting and it makes me a better racer to do that kind of stuff. And, you know, it's, it, I don't have to win, you know. I, I know I can, but I don't have to win to, uh, to know that I'm a good racer and one of the best in LSEC, if not the best. Um, So yeah, two more laps. Let's get her done. Any other talking points at this point? Um, you know, at this point, I think I've already, I think I've already kind of shown what uh, what I can do here. Um, you now, credit to Master JRC for putting these things together. Um, he's not a very well-known racer himself. He's just kind of a random dude, but uh, you know the community really rallies behind the creativity like that to, to put on hot lot competitions. It's it seems like the same people like myself win it week in week out, but um, we we do enjoy a little bit of that friendly competition like that, and we always want to encourage people of any racing pedigree to to compete with these things. I mean that's uh, that's kind of the fun of it. So even if you're you know not as good as me or you know not even as good as the other people, it's it's okay. It's you know. You don't have to win anything to have a good time doing it, so that's what I that's what I like to do. I think we're gonna get to our last lap here, but this lap in particular was there we go. That's what I was hoping I was gonna say. It was actually uh, a little too clean. I wasn't getting those getting those burnouts and those slides into those corners. So we're gonna hope this last lap here we really we really get a lot of those and kind of nail those down. Because um, other than that, they've kind of been clean and boring, and uh, my racing's just fantastic. I'm almost actually falling asleep from it. Almost hit the hay bale. Alright, let's end strong here. This is the one. We're going to put out all the stops on this one. Bam! Oh, that's exactly what we needed to have right there. I think that basically perfected the car right on the last lap. Give it. Oh, there we go. Left side or right side, too. Hell yeah. I am excited. I can't wait to see this lap time. I may even be beating uh, GR72 EG's lap time right now. It's uh, it's feeling like that. Like I shit, this this lap right now is feeling absolutely flawless. Car looked amazing. So hopefully this has inspired some of you guys and uh, taught you guys a little bit about um, how to race like the Dirks, uh, how, to, how to really get the most out of every lap, no matter what you're doing. Uh, and like I said, the biggest thing is to have fun with it. I, you're probably not going to do it as good as I do, but um, that's okay. You don't have to be as good as me to, you know, to, to make your mom and dad proud and to, to, you know, find some meaning in your life. But uh, I'm always happy to put out videos like this, so if you ever have additional things um, you want to see out of me, send me an email, um, message me on MySpace. Uh, I haven't gotten a Twitter yet, uh, working on getting a Twitter. But uh, yeah, I think as we head to the finish line here, this is going to be a perfect lap, and um, I'm expecting to win this thing. So yeah, it, uh, it was fun. <laughs>